Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with uh, my partner, Wooby Concepts. Hello. Hey, hey. And uh, yeah, we are here to show you something we've already been, yeah, showing off a little bit in secret via Twitter, and uh, that is the uh, the black hole we've been working on. Uh, so let me just spawn it in here. You can hear it. Uh, you just saw it in action. Um, this thing attracts uh, mobs and entities, um, not players though. We'll talk a bit about that uh, later on. Um, I currently have my environmental sound off because the effect you're currently looking at is fireworks. Um, and this looks awesome, so I really like it, but it's, it's pretty heavy for the PC. Uh, so we also have a uh, sort of lower end black hole and Wooby is going to quickly change it to that. And that's this one. And this one does not make noise. Or at least it doesn't make the firework noise. So let me see. Um, and is a lot less resource heavy for your PC. So alternatively you, you could use this. Um, but I think for the rest of the video, seeing as uh, Wooby prefers this one, we're going to stick to this one. Uh, but that's your choice. Okay, I'm uh, here with Wooby. Hey. Hey. And uh, we want to give you guys a quick demonstration of what this magnificent creation can do. Um, so uh, you see a black hole in the distance now. And if I summon an armor stance, a stand, you will see the uh, we're actually calculating the attraction based on the actual distance to the black hole. And the closer it gets, the, the higher the attraction becomes and the faster the armor stand will move. And it, yeah, it keeps growing exponentially until it get, gets sucked into the, uh, into the black hole. Um, that, is, that is the basic principle uh, of what we are doing. We are calculating the, the location of all the entities in a uh, 128 by 128 by 128 cube and then uh, calculating where we have to teleport them in order to make them move to the black hole taking into account that the actual distance to the black hole so it's complicated stuff but it can do more though as a uh, quick demonstration to really show that we're tracking all the mobs and entities in three dimensions we have a little setup here using uh, chicken jockeys you'll see they'll get this very very nice curve and then go up and the game is slowing down just a little bit because the the more entities you have the more it has to track uh, with, from above we are launching the, uh, the, the chicken jockeys under an angle and you get these really nice yeah curves due to gravity which is really cool now it doesn't just blindly attract and teleports entities just like that though. We are actually taking into account that there might be obstacles uh, that will stop uh, the teleportation in all three axes. And as soon as Wooby removes the wall, you'll see they'll continue being attracted. And then as that gets removed, they'll eventually get sucked in. Um, and that also goes for uh, below and above. Now, these black holes don't just attract uh, mobs, they uh, they can actually also handle items on the floor. Uh, although you see they are very very jittery, and that's because Minecraft handles these teleports and rendering of items in a yeah, different way depending on what's happening. And you might be asking yourself, oh, or a very important question, how do players uh, react to this black hole? Well, we've tried really really hard to make it work properly uh, with players, but the thing is, we are the, the entities you see. In order to accomplish this effect, we are pretty much teleporting these entities roughly 36 times per game tick. And the uh, yeah, the Minecraft client can't really handle it with players. Uh, it desynchronizes with the server. You see jittery. You can't really move. Players looking at you being attracted by the black hole can also not really see an effect so we just left it out uh, for now but we tried really really hard uh, to make to make it work and and it should work it's kind of unfortunate like 
all the things we are doing with entities should just work for a player as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it, it just doesn't, which kind of sucks. So, yeah. Um, this system actually also allows multiple black holes to be active at the same time. Uh, although with all the calculations being done, uh, the more black holes you add, the more yeah, strain it, it gives on your PC. But the cool thing is villages that are stuck in the middle, you can see them kind of wobble back and forth because both the black holes are yeah, pulling on them. And uh, some of them can actually, if you have uh, many, many black holes, get stuck in a kind of Lagrange uh, point where uh, they'll just <laughs> keep moving back and forth. It's really cool. Another cool example where you can really see the, the mechanics going is if you summon in bats. Because bats kind of have a random orientation of flight in, uh, in space. And some of them, if they're far away enough, will actually fly away from the black hole in a way where they... Uh, yeah, they'll kind of overcome gravity. But uh, if they get to a certain point, certain distance, you can see that one flying away kind of rapidly. Um, at a certain point they can't... They can't um, you know, overcome gravity anymore and they get sucked in. Um, but this guy survived. Or did he? <laughs> You're letting him live? Giving up a hard fight. <laughs> He's giving up a hard fight. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Shame. Now, you might have seen the uh, items in my hotbar already. So we have uh, just uh, the Ender Egg, which uh, summons the black hole 15 blocks above you. Um, what you've also already kind of have seen is the uh, Fire Hole, which is still a black hole, but it's kind of hooked up to a fireball. Um, it has two settings. Either you shoot it and after f uh, roughly 40 blocks, it turns into a black hole. Or you can shoot it and it will actually hit the ground, explode, suck up all the blocks that uh, appear, and then uh, attract stuff as well. Now, then you can uh, have you have two additional eggs. One kills the the closest black hole to you, and the final one just kills all the black holes that you still have in existence. Okay, here you see the monstrosity that's actually controlling all the black holes and all the calculations that are being done. Uh, it has a little interface, and I'll, I will leave a, uh, or we will leave a schematic in the uh, in the description, so you can paste this into whatever world you want, or uh, probably a download link as well. Um, so what you want to do is, when you have this thing, uh, you want to give yourself the items ne needed to control, um, yeah, and summon the black holes. Um, then you want to start the clock, and this. Uh, these black stained blocks will turn to uh, a fill clock. And now you can either choose for yourself or uh, you want the high end graphics or the low end. Remember though that um, I think you actually flipped the sign, uh, Bobby, but we'll fix that. It's fine. Oops. Um, oh, my yeah. bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, remember though that uh, the high end, which is this, uh, actually makes a lot of noise. Um, and this one is uh, a lot more friendly for your PC. Um, if you want to stop and reset everything, turn off the uh, command blocks because they are taking uh, yeah, a lot of drain on your PC. Just click this button and uh, it should clear up anything. Uh, this thing is really demanding though, uh, because we are doing, like I said, roughly between 36 to 40 teleports per entity per game tick. And so that's every zero point uh, zero 0.05 seconds, uh, which is a lot, and then we're, we're doing calculations and everything. Uh, so if you do this, you might want to paste it in your spawn chunk um, and actually do your black hole business uh, somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I think that's that pretty much covers everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Um, you guys watching, uh, I, I would very, very much appreciate it if you would uh, go check out Wooby's channel and subscribe to him as well. Because if, you, if you're if you remotely interested in doing anything command block 
related, uh, you are missing out greatly if you if you don't check out his channel and his stuff because he does amazing work and I would have never been able to do this uh, on my own. Um, so Wooby, thanks. <laughs> uh, my pleasure. We made something awesome. I'm very happy. So yeah, guys, check out Wooby. Check out his uh, his game. He uh, he made uh, a game with Zipcrowd called Ice Runner. Also a lot of command box stuff. Fun game. I'll put a link in the description to that. And um, if you're interested in uh, seeing a bit more about me, I've recently been interviewed by uh, Rekabilly on us and CF Man by uh, yeah on a show called uh, Like Minded. And I'll also have a link in the description for that. If you're interested in uh, yeah talking or hearing talk about Minecraft stuff. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.